So Joseph was an innocent man thrust into an unjust situation through circumstances beyond his control. And here's what's happened. He was sold as a slave into Egypt. But good things happened. He wound up in the household of a man named Potiphar. He served him well. And over time, Potiphar began to trust him. And he rose to the level where Potiphar trusted him to be the manager of his entire household. Things now were finally looking up. They were finally going well. But he became a handsome man and his Potiphar's wife took notice of Joseph and began to say things like this to him, come to bed with me. Joseph was a righteous man, an innocent man. He kept saying to her, no, that wouldn't be right. Your master's been so good to me. I could never do that. So one day when she had her opportunity, she grabbed him by the cloak. She said, no, come to bed with me. He said, I can't. And uh, he ran out. She, as he ran away, grabbed onto his cloak and stripped it off of him. You know, it's funny how history repeats itself. The first time his cloak had been stripped off, sold into slavery. This is what she did. She held onto that cloak. When Potiphar came home, she says, I can't believe what your slave tried to do. He tried to rape me, but I screamed and he ran away leaving only this cloak. I think it's such a great metaphor for how it so often happens to us, right? We get stripped of every good thing that's happening. That's now happened twice to him. And when Potiphar heard the news, there he was, back in chains. In fact, he ended up spending years in prison because of this. You can only imagine Joseph wondering, God, where are you? How long are you going to hide your face from me? What is happening here? What did I do to deserve this? You can sense, I mean, just feel his anguish. There's a key line as the Bible tells this story, and it's this. While Joseph was there in prison, the Lord was with him. And he showed him kindness and granted him favor. You see, we don't serve a God who stands far off from our suffering and pain. And when Joseph had been stripped down twice and was at the depths of despair, rotting away in a prison cell, it's there that the Bible says that God is with him. And this message just reverberates throughout the Bible. God with us.